The resources section is full of advice and information that every artist needs to know. All of these sections have lots of information on things that every artist should be familiar with when they're going about building their practice. For example, want to know about public relations? Well, click on the public relations section and you'll find do uh, dozens of pages of information about how to conduct effective PR campaigns and market yourself and your work. You can also cut and paste information from this into other uh, text documents if you want to print it out or read it later. We have information on aging, art school, how to get a business license, how to build a critique group, how to put together a website, you name it. All this information is here. I don't have time to go into every one of these sections, but if you download the demo, you can certainly read them for yourself. We also have a checklist section built in. These are checklists that you can fill out once you have secured an exhib exhibition space, a performance, a screening, if you're putting on an event, giving a lecture, or just needing to do um, press mailings. The exhibition checklist allows for you to put in the name of the exhibition, and it also has questions that you might want to ask the venue when you're planning your exhibition. <clears throat> this can help you avoid headaches later. You can know who's, re who's responsible for what, who pays for what, and what kind of assistance you're going to have with your exhibition. We also have a timeline built in. This is important because, for example, magazines need press releases at a different time than newspapers. And I just want to show you the event checklist. This is an amazingly comprehensive checklist that will allow you to put on both small and large scale events. It has sections for everything that you would need to consider when putting on a large event. So everything down to who sets up and breaks down the chairs to who cleans up the food. The contract section has all the sample contracts an artist would need as they approach different exhibition opportunities or different business opportunities um, in their life. So, you've got the artist gallery agreement that has lots of information you need to consider when um, going in with a gallery to sell work. Now you might be asking, can I just type in information here and plug and play this contract? Well, not really, because we would be held legally responsible for this contract if we just let you plug and play this information. But all you have to do is copy and paste this into a document and you can edit it yourself. Just make sure to have an attorney look at the contract if it involves lots of money or any long-term agreements, let's say between you and a gallery for exclusive representation. We've got information on the California Resale Royalties Act, certificates of, of authenticity, and all these other contracts that you might want to consider. Contracts are a powerful tool for artists. It allows for us to have um, say in how people handle our art, and it helps us not get taken advantage of by people who may not have our best interests at heart. So it's always good to familiarize yourself with contracts. We have a section on financial issues. If you have questions about how to put together a budget, how to deal with charitable contrib uh, contributions, how to seek fiscal sponsorship, fundraising without writing grants. These are all filled with valuable information you might want to consider when dealing with your finances. GIST doesn't do your taxes for you, but we do provide you with information to consider when filing uh, your taxes. We also have a section on other legal issues, text on copyright, the Visual Artist Rights Act, resale royalties, 
and other rights that are um, that artists need to know that they have. And additionally, we've put in information on presentation ve uh, venues you should think about when showing your work. We have the pretty obvious ones, like museums, where we've put in what it is, what the expectations the institution has, the pros and cons, and some other things you might want to consider. But do you know the difference between a vanity gallery and a nonprofit gallery? Well, a nonprofit gallery is a gallery that doesn't necessarily sell work. An artist run space is also a space where artists team together to um, have an exhibition space and show their work. Often, nonprofit spaces will pay artists to show in their exhibitions. Um, they'll, offer, they'll offer an artist stipend. A vanity gallery is a gallery where you pay to show your work. These places will offer you a show, but they'll make you pay for perhaps the rent, the advertising, and even pay to keep the lights on. They're not a very good place to show your work. So we put this in here just so you can know what these exhibition venues are and become familiar with them. So that's the resources section of the GIST software. There's a lot more information that I haven't shown you. You can check it out yourself by going to www.gistinc.com and downloading the demo. If you ever have any questions, you can always email us and we'll get back to you very soon. The GIST software also comes with a very comprehensive help section and manual. So if you have any questions, go here first and see if your um, concern is addressed here. Backing up your software is very easy. It saves to a, a file size approximating anywhere from 300 to maybe 600 megabytes depending on how big the images are that you're importing. So it's really easy to back it up, burn it to a DVD, so you have an archive of your work, um, safe and sound, maybe put it in a safe, deposit box, a safe deposit box, or mail it to somebody in another city. Keep in mind that some artists during Hurricane Katrina lost everything. They not only lost their artwork, their studios, but they also lost the record of everything that they had done during their practice. We suggest that you try and keep an archive of all of your work. This is helpful both for posterity, for curators in the future who are interested in what you were thinking about when you were making your work, and it's helpful for claiming insurance, insurance for doing insurance claims, and it's just part of building a stable, sustainable practice. So thank you for sitting and watching the GIST tour of uh, GIST 3.0. Um, if you ever have any questions, you can always email us. Keep in mind that GIST Inc. is an artist-run company. Everyone who works for us are, is an artist. We're here to serve the needs of artists. We put artists um, as our first priority. We are um, committed to empowering artists to take control of their own careers, to do things for themselves so that they don't um, have to rely on uh, galleries or um, agents. Although galleries and agents are good and they can serve a great purpose, it's important that artists know how to do things for themselves and that they can control their own destiny and their own practice. And so that's why GIST is here. We offer a range of products and services to help you build lasting, strong, and sustainable practices. Um, so thank you for sitting through the GIST uh, 3.0 tour, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.